Hello everyone. I am back today with a new process video. Still working in six by eight pocket pages, still working in my Munich series. So today's layout deals with the market area near Marienplatz in Munich. We walked around there for a while to get a snack, have kind of a, maybe a lighter lunch and then continue on exploring. But there was so much to see in the market that I wanna do a couple of layouts featuring all of those photos. So since we were in Germany, my friend really wanted a pretzel, an authentic German pretzel. So we did find a little cafe type place that sold all kinds of bread items, including pretzels. So I do have pictures from that. Now this layout's a little different because I also have an insert that's gonna go in the middle here. So I have these photos over here, which is finding the pretzel and we're in that store. I have to find a card for here and for here because I don't have anything to fill those spots. And then I have this photo that I cut down, but I don't have a background for it. This one I was able to find a piece of paper that I thought would work. This one I wasn't, so I'll have to go into my stash for that. So then I have this side. Again, I have these photos. I've already found a background paper that I like. This is not attached, so I do need to do that, but at least I have found the color that I like. It matches with the olives there. And then on this one, I have the photos in, no idea what I'm gonna do with them, and then I also need another card here. So I have several blank spaces that I need to address, and then figuring out some background things, and then the last part will be adding the embellishments. The first thing that I did is I adhered the photos that I had that did have background paper ready. So I adhered that one and this one. And you'll notice on both of them, I did them kind of off center. I don't know why, but I just like that look better in most cases because it's more visually stimulating to the eye. You have to work a little harder to look at that and notice that it's off center. So it's visually stimulating, which I like. And then it gives me room to play with what's over here. So I could put washi here, I could stamp, I could put a label, I could do something. So I've done that with both of these. The back side of this insert is probably done because these pictures have so much going on. There's so much color. It, it would be overwhelming to the eye, I think, to add anything else. So if I do anything here, it'll just be washi, but there won't be any embellishments or anything happening there. So this side of that is done. Still have to find a card for that side. Cards in these spots as well. But at least this gets me started knowing that these are the colors I'm using and then I have some space to work with for the fun stuff. When I was looking at the right side of this layout, I'm gonna move that insert a little bit. There's some orange happening here. Orange is sometimes hard to work with, but I knew I had some cards in my pocket card stash thing that I keep that are all travel related and I went in there and I thought there's got to be something in there I can use and I found this one so I'm going to use this because I love that it does have the orange in it I always love a good geotag and there's one here and it says love this place and I really did I really enjoyed visiting this market I'm glad that it ended up being one of the first places we went because it was just awesome to kind of see the local shopping, hanging out. I mean, obviously there were some tourists as well, but it was clear that some locals were doing their shopping there and it was just very relaxed. And, you know, we didn't sleep on the plane and so we were running on no sleep and it just felt good to take a minute, sit down, have a little snack, relax, and just people watch for a while. So I did love this place. Also looking at this photo, I went into my stash to see if I could find a label of some type that would work here and I did find one. I went into my black and white stash because of this and I thought trying to find more orange would be too much, too much orange. So I found this. It just says good food and it was. Uh, my friend only had the pretzel. I chose to have, it's kind of hard to see here, but this was almost like uh, a kielbasa sausage type thing in here with the potato wedges and then they had curry on it which I didn't expect at first for Germany I expected maybe just something a little more traditional but I loved it with the curry on it it was fantastic so the label of good food is accurate so I think what I'm going to do is put it in one of these corners here not sure which one I'll fiddle with it to figure that out and then I'll go to my next step I knew I wanted to add some wash over here, so I have found these two options. 
they're both orange. They work with the orange scheme that's on this side. One has kind of a crosshatch pattern, like a linen type pattern, and then this one has the stripe. Initially, I like this one because there are stripes in the awning here, and then I could do stripes here. They're a different stripe. It's not as wide, but I like it. But I do see the appeal, too, of bringing in a totally different pattern. So I'm just going to kind of try them both, put a strip on of each, see what I like, and then I'll make my final decision. I decided to go with the striped washi, but when I had this photo here next to this, it was too much next to each other. So I decided to switch these top and bottom here. So now this one's up top, and I do like that better. It's a, it's a nicer offset, I think, for this photo. So that side may be done. I doubt I'll add anything here. I may stamp on this, I'm not sure, but for now, I'm gonna leave that one alone as well as this one. And now I have to work on the left side and this side of the insert. I think I have found the right background card for this photo. And I like it not just for the color, but the fact that it's got a stripe in it. When it's sitting here and you're looking at this layout, you will see a little bit of this stripe peeking through, and I think that works. Even though this is on a diagonal and this is pretty straight up and down, I still think it's a nice design element that it'll go together. Sorry if you can hear that beeping. There's obviously a truck outside. <laughs> Sorry about that. But I found this one, so I think I'm going to use that. Don't know what else I'm going to do with that card, but at least I found the background. So now I'm down to only needing cards here. I've gone into my stash and I think I have found cards that will work. However, I have the same problem here now as I had on the other side where I think I'm going to switch these because otherwise when you're looking at this layout, I have two pocket cards side by side and I want a little bit more visual interest than that. So I'm going to switch whoops, and put this down here and then that way the pocket card I found will go up top. So for that one, I think I'm going to use this one. It just says, every picture tells a story. So that'll sit there. And then in here, I have this one. Would you like an adventure now? Or shall we have our tea first? From Alice in Wonderland. And I know this is from Coco Daisy. They did a kit that was all about tea. And I remember thinking, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. And we didn't actually have tea here, but I think it works because it's, you know, food related type of thing, sustenance to keep yourself going, especially when you haven't slept all night, <laughs> you're sleep deprived and a little crazy probably at the beginning of a travel journey. And I like that it says, would you like an adventure? Because really this whole trip was an adventure. And so I think it works very well. It also has stripes in the cup to work with the different stripes happening here as does this card I just noticed. Little stripes in there too. Happy accent on that one. So I think I'm gonna go with that. This won't need anything else. I can just put it in the pocket and it's done. So then it's really just focusing on adding all the little extras at the end. I did find a phrase label. So I attached that to this card and I went into my washi stash and found this one, which I think works with the colors that are on this left hand side. And it does introduce another pattern, but it's not so crazy that it'll be distracting, I don't think. So I am going to add a little bit to this card here. I added the washi there and I'm pleased with that. So all I have left really is this card. And at first I thought I was going to stamp there and then I decided that I wanted to do a sticker because I was pretty sure I had something food related. And I did find these in my stash. These are from Ellie's studio. These are puffy stickers. And as you can see, I've used quite a bit of them, but I want to use this one that says lunch. It's black and white, which is perfect because there are elements of that in here and it's right next to something that's black and white. And I can just put it right here at the bottom and that'll work perfectly. All right, I think this one is all put together here. So here's left side. And then this is what you see before you turn the insert here. And then you see the right side. And so this is actually quite flat. I'm not gonna add any rhinestones or anything, I don't think, because there's so much color happening here already. And I have that broken up a little bit with the cards I've selected. And I do need to keep down bulk somewhat because this album's gonna be so full. So the fact that this one's a little flatter is 
is A-OK. -okay. That's fine by me. So here's another one done for Munich. Thanks for watching, everyone.